EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. This up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here we go, here we go. Hey, South. Motion, motion, motion. Right there. 54. 51, Sam! Sam got man, man, man! Now it's Ryan. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leighton Van Der Esch wreaking havoc with a sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I'd file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Ryan. And right on cue, they set up the screen and complete it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pickup there, 21 yards. 
And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he puts up a backboard for first down. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. The tackle by Robert Quinn. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Hey, take care. Hey, South. Spot, spot, spot. No, 54, South. No, no, no. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan. Jones has it. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Check 26, check 26. Check out. It's Freeman, and he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense, in this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Set him back five. Come on now, let's go. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Yeah, let's get set now. 25, check 25, check 51. To the penalty, here's Freeman. They get one yard back there to make it second and 14. But well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Ready, blue 80. Blue 80. 2nd and 14, Ryan, he completes it to Jones. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A nice pick up there, 18 yards, first down Falcons. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in the game. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. At the Cowboys 32-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Cut it right. Cut it right. You got three. Three down. Three down. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. 
No score after one on EA Sports. Might have been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Let's get to some Hall of Fame talk while we have a second, because last week we mentioned the 15 guys that we knew were going into the Hall. Five added. Isaac Bruce, Steve Hutchinson, Edron James, Steve Atwater, and Troy Palomalu. You, you think about it, CD, for Palomalu was his first year of eligibility. People knew he would go in. Atwater was his 16th year. He had to wait a long time. He certainly did, and I often wonder about the psychology of it all because when you're young in your career, meaning young retired, right, these things mean something to you, but I don't know if they hit the same impact as it will for Steve Atwater. 16th year. Now, I think Steve would like somewhere to be a happy medium. Maybe the 8th year would be a lot better. But the bottom line is, the older you get, boy, imagine the emotions running through there, the validation, probably haven't had the applause in a long time. That's going to come back to you now. Troy Paramala, he essentially stepped off the field and into the Hall of Fame, but it doesn't matter. Bottom line is getting there. Congratulations to all. Then we're going to 53. Prescott on first down. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Elliott running right. Over midfield and into Falcon territory. That'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Brings up third and five. I got him. Watch the motion. Jim, 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 Jim. Check, check. Throw it. Prescott. Dance into his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep. And this is caught inside the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. One man in the backfield, that's Elliott on second and goal. Brings up second and goal. two-yard line. 45, 45. Now Prescott. This is caught. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Furbath, the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Furbath is sending away now following the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go. Let's go. The Falcons Let's go. take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, man open, that's Calvin Ridley. Seven yards there and a first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, balls delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Watch twist. Watch twist. Ready to go. They run. Devontae Freeman. The tackle there by Antoine Woods. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. He's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 39. Ryan now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Here's Freeman. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. At the 37-yard line. Hey, back 25! Check, check, block 54, block 54. Hey, express, express. Under 10, under 10, 10. <laughs> Throwing on second and eight. Ryan. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Jump, 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 jump. To throw is Ryan. This is Brian by Hardy. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Here's Ryan to throw. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Now that was a beautiful play, a pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Now four bath for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Chudabella Luzier with a pick. Gun, gun. Here we go again. 
Check 99! Check 99! Rush to the go to 54, go to 26! Following the interception. Nowhere to turn here, and he's gonna go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This will be taken short. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire half time just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Blitz coming and down he goes. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. To throw his press gun. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. This would have been a 54-yard boot had they tried a field goal, but they will not try a field goal. They're going for it. Check, crush, crush. Here we go, 46. Now Prescott on fourth down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of points we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Hey, free play, free play, free play. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. 48, 48, come on. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. This is Freeman on first and ten. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's Ryan. It's complete to Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. 
Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. Out, 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 out. 51, sub! He's coming on From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. No gain on the screen there at second down. That's a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Ryan. Now he's got it. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for the first. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. On the keeper, here's Ryan. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. As his guys are back within a single score. And Brad, I think we have to look back at the big call to go for it on fourth down. Yeah, that set up everything and the end result, a short touchdown run. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think every coach would have gone for it back there. You and I both know every coach would not have gone for it back there. So that's showing a little bit of faith, actually showing a lot of faith in his team, and it was rewarded. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll run with Elliott. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They go to Elliott again. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. He's now third and four. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. 45, 45, 45. We go 46. Go, go, go. Get out there. Get out there. Take the wind, Tony. 26. Prescott now from the 50. Flush to his right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Kill, kill. Under, under. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Press got to throw on four. He's got his target. It's Cobb. So not only did they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. That's complete to Cobb. 
And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. It's Cooper, and he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. On third down, Elliott. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's fourth down. Check. We're going to 54. Why in? Check 31. Check 31. Sponge. 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 No, no, no. They'll run it with Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one, a back breaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Now Elliott, and he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. About Ready. set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tunnel. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. 39. Check, check, check. 22 Jet Bomber, 22 Jet Bomber. Now it's Ryan. He goes underneath to Freeman. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. 20, 20. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. That's hauled in by Hardy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Go, go, go. the 35 he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. it's a gain of 16 first down falcons and that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game so this one will end in a victory for the dallas cowboys and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown and that was all she wrote
Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.